three star my bases and win $500. Cynthia decided to use 23 rocket balloons. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. Synthe of MCES is one of the most creative players in the world. That is why I have challenged him to the Judo Sloth Challenge. Anybody watching for the first time, Synthe has to attack three of my bases. Every time he three stars, he wins $100. If he three stars all three bases, he gets the grand prize of $500. However, the catch is every time he uses a troop, for example, the healer, that troop is banned from future attacks. And the exact same principle applies to the spell so he's going to have to be careful on which strategies he uses so he can get through all three bases. For context, I sent Synthe all of my bases but with scout view enabled so he could see the bases, formulate plans, but he did not know where the traps or Tesla were. Let's get the attacks underway. Synthe has chose his first base which is this one. I am going to go with seven headhunters in the clan castle, see if we can trip him up with his heroes, but let's throw up the challenge and then we can allow Synthia to attack. And what exactly is he going to use? He is in. Best of luck to Synthia. He is using 23 rocket balloons. Synthia, what on earth is this? Like we said, one of the most creative players in the world. Let's see the magic. Rocket balloons banned. Rage and freeze spells banned, as well as the healers. Here come my headhunters. He's got the sneaky goblins for the town hall. So that is also going to be banned. I do not class super troops and regular troops as the same. So he could use regular goblins. I don't think they were used there. But unfortunately, he's pulled all of my headhunters and a single poison is going to take those out. So that's a little bit frustrating. I thought I might have been able to trip him up. And I do tend to keep the same clan castle troops throughout the three attacks. It just makes it easier for me and the rules, everybody understanding. So unfortunately, Synthia is going to know that will happen again and again. But anyways, we do have the royal champion moving in from the top alongside both of his heroes. And he is doing a royal champion queen charge rocket balloon attack. 23 rocket balloons. What a genius. Okay, royal champion's in there. He's got that second poison for the heroes because he did not want to use a headhunter that would have banned it from a future attack. So really, really wise there, catching both of the heroes, the enemy queen and the enemy king inside the poison spell. Very nicely done. He still has 18 rocket balloons. Unused. 1 minute 30 and he's pretty much at the 50%. Heroes still alive, but the healers are indeed making him struggle. So they are on the Grand Warden. He needs them to switch to the Royal Champion. I think the Queen's about to go down. She got the air defense at the top though, which is huge. Look at those two rocket balloons cruising on into the center of the base. Oh my goodness. This Royal Champion. What is happening, Synthi? Oh my goodness. This is why he's the most creative in the world. We know him for his very impressive Skelly Donut methods. But this was something else. The rocket balloons have picked off all of the defenses on the perimeter. 36 seconds and there is no way that my base can defend right now. $100 in the bag. But can he go all of the way and get the grand prize? $500 if he three stars every single base. Wow. Synthi, take a bow. That was impressive. We need to work out all of the banned troops. I have written the banned troops from that previous attack. And Synthi has already selected his next base, which is this one. So let's see exactly what he has in store. The second attack is underway. 42 hog riders. We expected nothing less from Synthi and his hog riders. This is his specialty. 
He is known for mass hog riders and there is the skelly donut! Just like I said in the first attack, using the skeleton spells for the clan castle and the scatter shot. It is a, an incredibly risky strategy. If you turn the clan castle invisible, then it is over. But he did it picture perfect, kicking out the clan castle and the scatter shot. Wow. I mean, if you ever get a skelly donut method that works so well like that, it's huge value. Now he's got the hero dive in from the bottom of the base, and you can notice the pathing at the top for the hog riders. He's got the battle blimp over to the left, which gets amazing crash damage, gets the multi. Remember, he does not have the rage spell that is banned, but not even needed. That compartment's gone. I think he started the hogs. He did. I cannot even see what's happening. I cannot keep on top of the attack, and yet he is doing it. All the Hog Riders now in, the Headhunters there as well. Heroes have gone down at the bottom and there's a few defenses that the Hogs need to get to. He's got a couple of Hog Riders that have split from the main pack. He's still got heal spells and an invisibility. He's looking pretty good. I think he's going to be using it for this multi-target Inferno. Two heal spells. Synthe, you're not swagging things, are you? Oh, Giant Bomb! He got the heal in 1 minute 27. Where is my base? Royal Champion seeking shield left over. Masses of Hog Riders, a heal and an invisibility. Again, this is why he is the most creative attacker. Klaus, Synthe, wow. We've had them both on the Judo Sloth Challenge. I will link you across to the previous episode at the end of this one. He's on track for the $500, swagging the spells in the middle, just as necessary. And the one with Klaus will also be in the description, but $200, the banned list is updated. He's ready to go. He's told me the other base over on Twitter, which I do want to clarify I get the correct one, and it is this one for all 500. What spells does he even have left? Here it is, the final attack. 14 lightning spells. Synthi, what on earth is going on? Wow, he's taken out the Inferno Tower at the top, an Expo there as well. Where's he using the other five? He's actually pushing in with the heroes to begin with. I mean, he took this challenge, banning of heroes, banning of heroes. Imagine if the heroes were banned, that would be tricky. Banning of troops and spells and ran with it. I don't think I've ever seen an all lightning spell attack. I was kind of expecting the lightning and earthquake. There is the lightning perfectly timed onto the headhunters. That was beautiful. A couple of others. That's why I had seven of them. But he is going to be able to get through that. Three lightning left over. I guess for a sweeper? Maybe? Because he does have the dragons. Now he's got into the town hall. That's gone down. And you have to say, this looks like it's working perfectly, but it's not your traditional plan. So I'm struggling a little bit to read it, but obviously he's thinning out the left-hand side of the base to fly the dragons through. Looks like it's actually from the northeast going all of the way down so he doesn't need the lightning for a sweeper. He can use it on the air defense. Wow, as they come through, a beautiful Grand Warden ability protects everything and it's looking pretty good here as the dragons move through because he still has the stone slammer scatter shot about to fall down a second scatter shot and there's the lightning to the air defense it's gone no more air defense for the dragons he's bringing in the stone slammer to this one battle builder hut probably more concerned about time rather than anything else and just send the stone slammer into the center of the base but since they're having problems now as the tornado trap catches the dragons the tesla farm on the back end could be the savior dragons falling fast but as the stone slammer moves in he's also got the grand warden 50 seconds 
And that was so critical. Can you imagine if he didn't put the stone slammer in at the top? If he'd sent it early, he might have time failed. 37 seconds. He's got some slow troops here, but since everything is at this side of the base, it looks good for Synthi using mass rocket balloons, mass hog riders, mass lightning spells. I've never seen anything like it. That is why I love this challenge. By the way, I did have some people commenting, he could easily look back at your other bases. Whenever bases are picked, I rotate them out. So the next pro player will not get these three bases that is clear synthy though showing you his skill five hundred dollars synthy ran away with that challenge i have never seen anyone obliterate my bases like that gg to synthy if you want to see the previous episode where we had world champion yo-yo attacking be sure to check that video subscribe button is also there you guys take care and i will see you in the next video